Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm doing a bit of a collective haul for you all. I feel like I haven't done one of these in a long, long time. I have one PR package um, and then just a couple of random things that I have purchased during quarantine. Ruben made a comment yesterday that we have been under quarantine for two months. Two months. And to be honest, I... It feels like it's only been a week to me. Um, I am enjoying the sleep that I'm getting and I'm enjoying the quality time that I'm spending with Toby. Um, and yeah, I'm kind of scared to go back to work uh, with no vaccine, but again, I am very anxious, so I'm always like, We'll start with the PR package. I have a package uh, from True and Luscious, which is, I think, a California-based company, but here I have the True and Luscious Lucky Glow Bronze and Highlight Palette. This is so cute and so on trend. Um, so I used all of these products and you will see them in action in a video coming soon. Um, so these are the shades here. We have Pots of Gold, Royal Flush, Triple Sevens, Serendipity, Heaven Scent, and Good Fortune. I like the packaging and the mirror is so, so nice. Next I have the True and Luscious in Flower Dose Plumping Lip and Eye Serum. This is very interesting packaging to me. It almost seems a little gimmicky, but it looks like a syringe. And I think it's one of their top sellers as well. Um, I used this when I did the eye look or the makeup look. I don't know if I'm plump. I'll try to use it more during the quarantine and then I'll, I'll tell you all how this worked out for me. Um, this is the True and Luscious Angel Eyes Eyeshadow Primer Base. They sent me the shade Dark Nude and that's the swatch there on the packaging. And to be honest, this was too dark for me. I don't know if you can tell, um, but this is the shade right there definitely too dark for me. But this is going to make your eye look um, last longer throughout the day. And then this is the Super Moisture Lipstick in Uptown Red, which I am wearing right now. And if you have like dry lips, this is very soft and creamy shade. It just glides on over. I'm used to just using the ColourPop lipsticks because they're affordable, they're cruelty free, and they're made in the USA, but they can be a little on the drier side. Even their cream-based formulas, I feel like this is really, really, really moisturizing. So if you are in the market for something that's very moisturizing, rich in color, and just glides on over the lips easily. Give these a go. Let's chat about leggings um, because that is what I am living in during this quarantine. I have ordered a number of leggings from evcr.com. So it stands for evolution and creation. I have been wearing their leggings for about two years now. Initially I found them at Marshalls and then I went on their website and saw how affordable they were so I kept on ordering. But recently since I purchased a spin bike and I've been using it every day, um, I've been needing more leggings and because I'm wearing them when we're at home. So I've ordered a number of styles. Um, this is the style Amy. So it's a high waist, but it's not like an elastic band here. And I am a size medium. Um, and these are seven eighths long. And I am, I, 
I have a big bottom and I am a shorty. So this is like a full length legging for me. There, I have never ordered their full length, so I don't know how that would fit. But I love the material. It is a very, very thick. It's stretchy. I have kind of like that very curvy body. Um, and I feel fine all the time. So this is in the style Amy. This is also in the style Amy, and this is like their crimson red. I have yet to wear these. Um, but I like that one. They have a lot of prints as well. So if you love prints, go get them. Um, so I have, this is the Amy Plain Malbec. And these retail for $9.99. I picked up the, yeah, this is the Mindy and Cabaret. And this, low power mode, because it has a pocket here for your cell phone, is $14.99, but this is a slimmer fit, so if you are a medium like me, I would definitely recommend sizing up. I tried to wear these all day yesterday, um, but unfortunately I could not. I felt like I was suffocating. So I feel like if I lose any more weight, I'll, I'll definitely be reaching for those. And then this, these are the Capris. And these are also in the size medium. These do have the elastic waistband up top. And these definitely fit a little bit different than the Amy style. I think my favorite is the Amy and the Mia style. The Mia retails for $9.99 as well. I have a ton of the Mia style in black. This is the Valerie in Capri. And then I also have this shade. Sorry, it's like not pulling up this one. I don't know if you can see it, but this is a beautiful green shade. This is in a Capri. I have a lot of Capris from, um, oh crap, make a bowl over it and this is a new pair. I have a lot of Capris that I've had for like six, seven years, not from EVCR, but from other uh, companies that I need to replace soon because like they're not as stretchy or they, they start to make that noise when you stretch them out. So those need to be replaced ASAP, which is why I bought like four pairs of these. And it's getting hot and I'm working out every day. So I purchased some of these. So these are kind of like my new leggings. Let's see. Sorry, <laughs> Toby. Um, I picked up some bras, some sports bras, because again, I've had a ton of them for a long time. And the plastic, or I'm sorry, the elastic there is now too stretchy to where it doesn't really hold on to the girls as they should. So my favorite sports bras I've gotten from Target. These are uh, the champion, yeah, champion range. And these are medium hold or light. I don't know. I picked up uh, medium and black and medium in this heather, heather gray. I love strappies like these. I, sometimes I feel like the really thick straps are a little bit suffocating. Um, so I picked these up to kind of like replace the older ones that I do have. Some bath and body. So, um, picked up a candle. White Gardenia Bath and Body Works. Love this scent. I also picked up the Wallflower Home Fragrance Refills and White Gardenia to kind of pair with that candle. Um, in the spin room, I have the Japanese Cherry Blossom. This is the extra one. I bought the sets, the ones that come in pairs. And then what we currently have on is the... Oh, I forget this scent, but it's, I have the accompanying hand soap. And what is this called? Oh, Fresh Cut Lilacs. 
that is what this is called. Um, it was a purple, but then it turned yellow looking. Um, I purchased six hand washes, but here I'll show you the Beach Bliss crisp morning air. I've used this before and this is a repurchase. My favorite is the mahogany teakwood and my favorite candle from theirs is also mahogany teakwood. Um, I purchased this candle. This is the Palo Santo scented candle. I burn Palo Santo sometimes, you know, when I'm trying to raise the vibration here. And I bought it because I like the jar, but the review on this candle was, I think it had like a couple of poor reviews. Um, this scent reminds me of like my dad and my uncles. They were like kind of like this musky man scent. This in a large room is not going to really scent the room. I have it here in the, like our little hallway and it does a good good job. I do wish that the scent was of course stronger but I still don't think it smells like Palo Santo. I don't but I still may order if I do place another order I, I may order this. The Bath and Body order did take a while to come in which you know I don't mind by all means take all of the necessary precautions to you know, take care of your staff, and this goes for anybody. You know, take care of your employees. If you don't have any employees, you cannot create anything, you cannot ship anything, and you cannot make any money. So, you know, as long as you take care of your employees, I do not care how long it takes for my order to ship. I bought these uh, from Nordstrom's, these Birkenstocks, which I have been living in. So I also purchased another pair but not of the plastic ones. I purchased like the leather ones, sadly. Um, oh, this was stuck in it. These kind of make my feet sweat. I Maybe I have sweaty feet, um, but I really like these. These are light. You can wear them with anything um, and I highly recommend. They were sold out last year when I tried to purchase them and I used a gift card that a client of mine very generously gave me during the holidays uh, two years ago. It took me two years to buy to buy something off of Nordstrom's. Uh, their shipping was super duper fast. They shipped from a store, from the Century City store. So I literally thought it was gonna take three weeks for them to ship, but they came in two days. Um, and now for my Sephora order. Sorry for the, if the lighting changed. Sephora order was placed a very long time ago and I started using some of this stuff. Um, but this is my VIB purchase. Miss <coughs> Toby. I used to be VIB Rouge, but last year I, I don't think I spent enough to be a VIB Rouge anymore. So now I got knocked down to VIB, which I don't mind. I purchased a uh, number of Drunk Elephant products. Uh, this is the TLC Happy Scalp Scrub. Um, I have used this twice on my scalp and once on my body. I will be sure to talk more about this in the future. I don't know if I wanna do a full on review on any of these products. Let me know if you're interested in the comments down below. But this I have liked. I don't hate it, but I don't know if I love it yet, you know? I really do enjoy the packaging, I will say that. And then I also purchased the Drunk Elephant and Chris McMillan Wild Marula Tangle Spray. I really needed a leave-in conditioner slash something to ease the pain from brushing my hair after washing because I have like sensitive scalp. I've only used this twice. Again, I only wash my hair about twice a week. Um, I live with dry shampoo in my scalp all the time. Um, so I I don't have a review on this quite yet. Um, 
so I'll let you know more about this specific product in the future. Um, I also purchased the Drunk Elephant Sweet Pity deodorant cream. Now this I like. I have used a natural deodorant for over two, three, four years, um, and I have gone through the whole detoxing uh, part, and this does a good job at keeping the odor away. I have used this during dog walks, during my hour-long workouts, um, and right now I'm a little wet because it's hot in this room with all of the lights and closed off door and window um, and then when I work out I, I must say that I am I am sweaty but do I stink absolutely not uh, the packaging here could use a little work I feel like I haven't touched this at all but it's up what I would suggest is that if you do push too much out that you dab or kind of like tap it on each pit and then work it out so that you don't have too much on one pit and then not enough on the other. I highly recommend this if you're into natural deodorants. Um, I have had no issues with this. So it says here our Sweet Pity deodorant cream is formulated to soothe and moisturize delicate underarm skin while keeping odor at bay, which it does. Suitable for all skin including sensitive Sweet Pity is free of baking soda, essential oils, and aluminum derived ingredients, which I definitely appreciate. This is a repurchase. This is the Pharmacy Green Defense Daily Mineral Sunscreen. Uh, brought Spectrum SPF 30. This is quite possibly one of my favorite sunscreens other than the Murad City Skin. SPF 50. Love this stuff. Um, I do work with Pharmacy quite a bit. They send me a lot of PR. Um, but I always feel really bad asking for product. And during these times, I know that businesses are having a tough time. Um, so I just wanted to purchase this with the 10 or 15% off. And it's my favorite. Um, I purchased also the Isle of Paradise Dark Glow Clear Self Tanning Mousse. Um, Isle of Paradise very generously sent me a care package about two years with their medium range. And I wanted to try the dark range. I have yet to use this and I should have used it this week because it was a little bit cooler but oh well um, this is a restock as well this is the uh, hourglass veil translucent setting powder um, love love this powder it is so finely milled and this is a new new one compared to my beat up busted one love love this powder if you're looking for a translucent powder that is finely meld cruelty free try the hourglass if you are on a budget the ColourPop translucent powder is also a favorite of mine it is not as finely meld as this gem here um, but it is cruelty free and it is made in the USA I purchased the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation in the shade 3.5. Um, this is a restock. Um, I love this foundation, but the one I currently have in use is probably expired. Um, but I still applied it on the face today, so it needed to be replaced. Picked this up. It's one of my favorite foundations. I wear it year-round. It is uh, waterproof. Yeah, waterproof and sweat resistant. Um, and then I also purchased the Moroccan Oil Color Depositing Mask. I've already used this. Um, you'll probably see a vlog on this uh, soon, if not before this goes up. Um, so stay tuned for that if you're interested in hair videos. I liked this. I was. I definitely have a root. due to the uh, stay-at-home orders. Um, but I, I don't mind, really, and I just wanted to do something kind of fun and purchase that and tried it, and it 
really did leave my hair really soft and it smells really really nice but I want to give like these drunk elephant products more of a go so I'm kind of waiting for the color to kind of go away and because I do just wash my hair twice a week it's taking a while for it to go away they sent me this sample this is high five cannabis facial moisturizer have yet to use this and then they sent me uh, the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle which I love so those were it for um, Sephora purchases I do hope that you enjoyed today's video let me know if you would like to see a specific review on any of the products that I showed you all today especially the new drunk elephant products let me know in the bottom bar if you're interested in seeing a full-on product review on any of them and I will um, get on that for you so yeah I think that is all I have for you all thank you so much for spending some time with me today and I will see you in my next video bye hello friends and welcome back to my channel as Toby wakes up um, uh, okay so what did I order? Why am I like so red? I had to like <coughs> and I am like a different color again. Hello. I think that's better. Okay, so 